Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a maple leaf. I guess this is a beginner level type of painting. So I encourage everyone to join me in this uh, painting session. Let's begin now. Let me first introduce the colors to you guys. First we have lemon yellow, permanent yellow, permanent orange, burnt sienna, black, oxide green, sap green, and um, I did not get white for the first time, but I might get it later, okay? But for now, I don't think I'll, I'll be needing it. Okay, so we'll be needing, or we'll be using um, this brush. Any brush um, will do but I'm just using a tiny brush because I'm using a canvas paper for today's painting. Let's begin now. I think this will be a quick um, painting session. I hope. So first, I'm gonna underpaint my maple leaf using burnt sienna. Okay, burnt sienna. I'm just using burnt sienna. If I'm changing, I'm gonna tell you guys. I love autumn leaves, guys. I love autumn leaves. They're just as pretty as flowers to me. Actually guys, my the perspective of my painting or my drawing is a little different from the perspective of the reference photo that I'm using. Um, well, I think I prefer my own perspective. And I don't know, I'm just gonna see it later. I'm gonna find out later if my, um, my vision is correct, the way I see things. Um, I think I like this perspective way better. The perspective of the reference photo is quite like the leaves is facing me. But in my perspective, the leaves is like um, slightly tilted to the left side. So we'll see. Okay, now that I've underpainted it already, 
Okay, let me just do the do the stem. Is that the stem? Yeah, the one that holds the leaf to get the the leaf together. Okay. I've done the underpainting now. I think it's done. And I'm going to use black. I'm going to use black. Okay. And I'm going to use that black paint to color or to paint the edges of my leaf. Because I'm painting a dried maple leaf, by the way. So you can actually, you'll see some dark spots, bright spots. I like this. I really like this. So I'm going to paint the edges black and sometimes I would make some spots on the leaves. That's why I really like this. It's so natural. It's so natural. And you know me, I love, love painting the nature. I love painting real objects, real things. I love to paint. I love things that exist. That's my style. I guess all artists should find their own um, painting style. Okay. Now I'm going to go this side. Just using black. I'm actually enjoying it, guys. It's painting black. Okay, I'm using black. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make some dabs here just to suggest some um what do you call that? Like the leaf um, the leaf is um a dead leaf. Although it's beautiful, it's dead. But it's still beautiful. So I'm going to make um, dark spots. Gonna make some dark spots here. Quite interesting. Okay, I'm still using black. Okay, I'm I'm gonna use my black. Uh, I'm gonna mix it with sap green. With sap green, more sap, and then a little bit of yellow. Yellow, lemon yellow. Okay, I'm gonna apply it here. Oh, it's quite watery, but it's okay. Oh, mm. <laughs> I don't know why I did it, but then I'm going to use black, add black to it. Mm. Okay, there you go. Just, just dab. I'm going to get more black because I'm painting the edges of it. So black mixed with sap green. Okay. And make some spots here. Okay. 
あれうん get some get some oxide green mix with black oh sorry <laughs> sorry oh my gosh okay mix with oxide green just dab just dab all right and then here okay so just use black and green we have to make natural um, spots okay here I'm gonna draw the edge okay all right so okay yeah that's good for now wash your brush out just wash your brush out okay I'm gonna use straight ahead permanent orange mixed with permanent yellow and lemon yellow tiny bit of burnt sienna and then I'm just gonna um, use a good amount of water okay more orange and apply it here I'm not making strokes I'm just dabbing I'm just dabbing guys the absorption of paint is quite different when I'm using canvas paper but I'm getting the hang of it already so okay again I'm just dabbing dab 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 all right okay here here okay again same mixture orange and yellow and brown stop worrying so much about colors right now because uh, the subject is or the subject has a lot of random colors so it really doesn't matter as long as you have the right colors with you the placement does not really matter okay I'm gonna mix the orange with more yellow this time more yellow and of course water and I'm gonna use that um, I'm gonna use that here and then I'm using my fingers just to blend okay all right I'm gonna use more yellow this time or just pure yellow lemon yellow I'm gonna apply it here again if you're using canvas the usual stretch canvas or canvas board this will be easier for you I'm using paper so it's quite a struggle for me but it's all right because i love this subject okay i'm just gonna make some yellow streak here and here here it doesn't have to be super obvious 
It just has to be there. It just has. It just has to be there. <laughs> what I can't speak? Still pure yellow here. Okay. Pure yellow. Okay. Here as well. Pure yellow. Okay, now I'm going to use, wash your brush out, I'm going to use burnt sienna mixed with orange. So orange, burnt sienna, orange, burnt sienna with a little amount of, with a little, uh, amount of black. Okay, black. All right. And then I'm going to... Um, make some like the vein or veins of um, the leaf okay all right so here as well all right here as well. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight because again, it has to be as natural as possible. All right, here. Not yet, because there are still a lot of things to do. I'm going to apply some brown here. So, random streaks. Fingers. Okay, I'm going to use black mixed with brown. And I'm just going to make some more spots here. Here as well. Okay. Mm, here as well. Okay, I'm gonna get my sap, my oxide green mixed with black and brown. Okay, add black, add black, and then just okay. I'm gonna add some yellow, lemon yellow, and then I'm just gonna dab. Just gonna dab it here. 
Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to get some yellow and make this side a little lighter. Okay. Yellow orange. Uh, doesn't look like yellow orange. Okay. You can use cleaner brush. I think I'll be using a cleaner brush. I'm gonna use uh, lemon yellow mixed with permanent yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna make some um, like I'm just making uh, or painting some light spots on the leaves using yellow using my yellow okay um more lemon yellow permanent yellow and lemon yellow combined here coarse fingers Just use your fingers to blend. Okay. And then I'm going to get my orange while I still have yellow on my paint and water. I'm just gonna dab it right here. Dab it right here. Here as well. The key is be random. I always say that. You know, it's like a person. Like when a person is random, the person is more natural, right? Like when everything you do is like planned, it doesn't look like natural. Um, it doesn't feel natural. So... Anyway, okay, all right, okay, more yellow, yellow. Okay, I added some brown to the orange mixture, just dab. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna use more yellow this side. And then I'm using my fingers to blend. Or I'm just using my fingers to apply it. Here as well. I'm just I'm just gonna make this part a little lighter. I'm gonna use permanent yellow, orange. Here, make some random. Uh, random um, marks I'm just gonna make it call it marks because it's not really 
doing some strokes. It's actually just dabbing. Here as well. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little brighter. Okay. Again, as natural as possible. Um, all right, so here as well. Here. Just make some uh, random marks. It's all about that. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna make, or I'm gonna get my burnt sienna, black, burnt sienna and black, and then water, just to allow me to do a line smoothly. And then I'm gonna make a line here, I think I missed that one. right like that and then i'm gonna make some line here okay i think that's too much okay here as well okay here just make some random marks i keep on saying it just to guide you uh Here, this this part is quite dark. All right, and then I think I need to get a new brush just for um, dabbing purposes. I'm gonna get my lemon yellow, uh, permanent yellow yellow tiny bit of orange okay and then water just to uh, again make some random marks you know if you're a watercolorist um you probably understand what i'm doing but we're doing acrylics and i really want people to use acrylics no not i not that i want them to use it but um for those using acrylics, you can actually make some watercolor effects using it. Don't worry. Don't be intimidated by the fact that watercolors have different effects. You can actually do that using acrylics. And for those using watercolor, if you're scared of using acrylics just because you, you think you will not get the effect of watercolor, then I think uh, we have to change our mind mindset. Okay, I'm gonna use yellow here and here, here as well, here as well. Okay, here. All right, so here, just hints of yellow, this side. All right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some orange, pure orange, and then I'm just gonna dab somewhere. I want it to be seen. You know, it doesn't have to be, yeah, I like it. I really like it. Okay. So the dark orange or the pure orange makes the yellow pop out because of the contrast. Okay, I really like it. I really like it. Okay. And here as well. Here. Alright, here. Here. Okay. I'm going to use my... Yeah. Mm -hmm lemon yellow okay it has it has turned into green but it's all right <laughs> um i can use that uh -huh. 
Okay. Where else? Here. Um, here as well. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Okay, wash your brush out. And I want to do some greens. Wash your brush out and get some um, sap green, oxide black, and a tiny bit of brown. Again, sap green and black. And I'm going to apply it here. Again, this is watered down acrylics, meaning I just use a lot of water or more water than usual. Nothing too complicated, guys. I think everyone can do this. Anyone. Anyone can do this. It's nothing really crazy. You probably know what I'm doing already. Okay, can just dab it. Okay, just dab. really looking like a leaf all right I'm gonna mix my greens with some yellow so it's gonna turn like a yellow greeny muted yellow green and I'm gonna apply it around the dark spots Okay, nice. It's really nice looking like a leaf. And then I'm gonna get my orange and lemon yellow watered down. And I'm just gonna make some dabbing here because I feel like it's too dark. I don't want this to be super dark. my my okay I, I ran out of yellow lemon yellow I'm just gonna use lemon yellow and then I'm just gonna make some um, yellow a bright yellow in the middle apply bright yellow in the middle Okay, just gonna use lemon yellow. I'm going to mix it with permanent yellow 
here. Okay, like that. It's really looking like a leaf now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here as well. Okay. I'm going to wash my brush out. And I think I have to use orange. Permanent orange and a lot of permanent yellow. I I need to glaze this. Okay, I'm gonna use a lot of water, and I'm just gonna glaze it here, here as well. Actually, just glaze the whole thing. It's just my technique, guys. You don't have to do this it's just my preference if you feel like you're gonna ruin your painting it's all right don't do it i, I just want to do this for me it becomes more natural nice actually <laughs> it's nice mm-hmm it's good looking good but really wet i'm gonna get okay probably now i'm gonna use my white just because um i want to delete some of the areas outside the subject not i'm not gonna use it i don't think i'll be using it um to the subject itself i'm just gonna fix those um unwanted uh, colors that went outside my my line okay just fix it okay just fix it okay Okay, so I just deleted some unwanted colors. But then, since I have my white and I don't want to waste it, and I think I can actually use it to help me get the right color, I'm going to use my white somewhere in the middle, but water down. Okay, I might... Mix it with my lemon yellow. Gosh. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna use my lemon yellow. And literally using my fingers. Mix with white. I think I have to delete this one. I think I made a mistake. Okay. Right. Okay. Again. This lemon yellow. Lemon yellow and white, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I I think uh, that was a bad decision. <laughs> I'm gonna make my yellow more yellow again. Just gonna use lemon yellow.
and then here this is just lemon yellow okay all right okay, I'm gonna go back to my burnt sienna pure burnt sienna mixed with tiny bit of black just to correct or just to emphasize more the vein that I painted over okay. all right here as well I think okay. yeah right okay just dab Just make some spots again. I lost the spots when I glazed it. All right, so okay. All right, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get some black again because I again I missed this. I covered everything after glazing it. Okay, I'm gonna get some green, oxide green again, just to bring back the spots. Okay, nice. Wash your brush out. Actually nice. I'm just gonna use some black to finish the stem. Okay, and then just gonna draw something like that. Make some black here. Okay, I'm gonna use, uh, wait, I'm gonna use a cleaner brush because I think I have to correct this part. Okay, I just deleted it. to the meat all right this is nice okay so I'm just gonna get my black mixed with green again Okay, mix with green and just dab, make some dark spots again. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're done. Right, guys? We're done. What do you think? Mm, okay, let me just use some of my yellows because yellow and permanent yellow 
just to add more details up here. Okay. Like that. Okay, here as well. Just gonna make some additional highlights here. Mm. Here as well. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this off by black and burnt sienna. And here I'm just gonna define it even more all right okay on here like that Okay. Okay, and then here, make some line. Okay. Um, get some orange. Your orange. I'm adding yellow. yellow to the orange mixture just to oh, yeah I like it I kind of like it all right mm -hmm. wash your brush out okay get yellow <laughs> Make some definition here. Okay. Here, make some lines. Okay, here as well. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna sign it now. I'm gonna use black here.
Okay. And I think we're good. Okay. So there you are. The tutorial is done. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you.